Hello and welcome to Think About It, where we have two primary goals. One, to get you to think about it, and two, to just try to make sense out of what's happening in Wisconsin. Here it is in a nutshell. The newly elected Republican Governor Walker realizes his state, like most of ours, is bankrupt, needs to make some major changes. One of the changes he's proposing is a dramatic change in the way that the state employees contribute to their own benefits packages. You know, all of us have to kind of pay part of our health insurance, and they don't really want to do that. He's not asking to cancel their benefits. He's simply asking them to contribute like everyone else in society does these days. And after all, since the unions are all about fairness, it would seem to be a fairly reasonable request. Not so. That's why we're seeing the demonstrations that we're seeing right now. Because those people feel that they are, they are entitled to benefits that you and I pay for. N never mind the fact that we actually, in many cases, may make less than they do. They just think that they're entitled to all of that. Hey, Governor Walker also has this radical, crazy idea that in the future they will allow the voters in Wisconsin to decide each of these issues every time they come up. Uh, therefore determining what happens with their own tax dollars. Isn't that crazy? It's like a level of transparency we've only dreamed of, and it's making the unions even more and more upset. You can tell because the highly esteemed, courageous, pioneering Democratic leadership in Wisconsin has fled the scene. Literally, physically, actually left. Went to an undisclosed location in Illinois rather than coming in and voting the will of their constituents. That vote may be no, it may be yes, but they don't want to vote. By the way, that's the only thing they exist to do, is to represent their voters. They've left. I've also noticed through all of this, and this is probably the most troubling part of it all, the level of civil discourse and how it has devolved thanks to the involvement of the unions and your president, Barack Hussein Obama, who is talking about how this looks like an effort to trample out the unions. Um, we've seen signs with crosshairs over top of the picture of Governor Walker. We've seen a sign that said, don't retreat, reload. We've seen signs comparing the governor to Hitler and Mubarak, saying, one dictator down, one to go. I would just like to, to close these thoughts by thanking Richard Trumka and the union leadership. Really, seriously. Because you, we couldn't possibly, those of us who are actually thinking Americans, who realize that the gravy train can't continue forever and we're kind of tired of paying for other people to get free stuff when they're not willing to do their fair share, I'd like to thank you and the union thugs that are making this all so enjoyable, visiting people's houses in the dark of night and kind of scaring them and just acting like playground bullies. Um, you're kind of making our case for you. You're making it very, very clear that today's unions exist for really two reasons. One, to stay in business because losers like Trumpka wouldn't have another job if, the, what, if there weren't unions. And, and number two, just to, to kind of act like big bullies because back on the playground perhaps nobody would let you play in the reindeer games. <sighs> My friends, with the number of bankrupt states in our country, this sort of scene could very easily be played out in your backyard sometime soon. Can I just encourage you, if it does happen, and we hope it doesn't, but if it does, will you take the time to stop and think about what they're actually asking for? Because in Wisconsin, what they're actually demanding and chanting and making signs for is to continue a gravy train that's no longer affordable, certainly isn't fair, and comes at the expense of everybody who isn't in the union. I happen to think that that 90-something percent of the population enjoys seeing these changes, and you will too when the day comes. So spread the word and thank your, your local union representative, because in Wisconsin they're painting a fantastic picture for union membership. Think about it.